Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. We're on chapter six now. Ooh, spooky. Because we're going to bust into a prison. Not bust out of a prison, bust into it. And we are now at 9.03 p.m. Bust my brothers out! <laughs> wow. Or whatever. Mm. Oh, that was a good piece of what said. Lost memories of self, a forgotten murder case, a dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task, to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Trick time! So we're still here in the basement with the Rube Goldberg machine. Kind of cool how even the stuff we didn't use to stop the death is getting used now. Oh wait. I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. Hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself, keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I'd better head there too. It's not Sunday after all. Yeah, it actually isn't. Wait, back. It's all over! It's all over for me! Lin, sweet, cute Lin, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Humph, forget all about all of that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. Your bright as the sun Lin probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get out what you can out of it. Very good. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? Oh. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to listen to the guy with the pigeon on his head. Alright, go to the uniformed men's office, I suppose. Yeah, if we can get to the phone that had that thing from before. Oh, we can. So how are preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now! Yeah. Man, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> that kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me just being sarcastic. Just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's like, um... Oh my gosh, how did I forget his name already? Who's who's the coffee dude's name? Godot! Like, Godot, okay. I was like, Come on, Marty! I was like, coffee. Like, that's all I could think of. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prison number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Trick time! I can use either one! Yeah. I'm gonna let this one loose. <laughs> hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this vein. Inspection. Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. <laughs> he even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too! What are your demands, they asked! And... The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. <laughs> curry and rice? That's it? 
Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office. With the flamethrower, torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how did a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you quit throwing away my important duty memos? <laughs> oh, make the other one go. <laughs> I love these guys. Hey, Bailey. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C-38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? <laughs> secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of the encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. A song that they were singing, uh, doing, it was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how was that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed and in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh every time. Would you quit throwing away my important duty memos? <laughs> oh, he's putting up the memos back. <laughs> no, except that's in a different spot. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, if you're just gonna pick your toes for the- Sorry. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> really, Bailey? Still? <laughs> hey, Bailey. We'll see, it's different. See, it's different. <laughs> oh, it is, wow. Let me see this fame. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chief is or the chef is preparing it for him right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah. Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive? Everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently, this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it, it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D-99. Who knows what he's thinking, or hiding, behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D-99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. I mean, probably everyone in prison has a beard. <laughs> Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? <laughs> it's time. <laughs> what? What? 
Who is this punk? It's the rock star. Who okay. <laughs> broadcasts the national secrets. Oh. He's making a house of cards with a wine glass on top. There, it's done. New info has been added. <laughs> I want me to help you. Oh wait, I can't help you. Oh no. I can help myself. Pigeon Man, Jovial Tunner, the typical cop, the Navy Blue Square, Rock Jailbird, a rock and roller who's saying national secrets during a live nationwide broadcast. He's now creating a horrible cacophony in his prison cell. He Can looks like, ugh. <laughs> he looks like your typical anime punk kid like Ash Ketchum. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Punk all right, I think this is the point where the memos start just repeating. Yeah, but we have to let it loose, and then he's holding it. Yeah, so instead of listening to the talk balloon, we just do something else. Hey, baby. Can I actually do my work? Wait, there, that's different still? <laughs> Let's hear it. Would you quit sending these memos over here? No! <laughs> huh? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery! <laughs> next time, I will find the answer next time! Guess it's time to try and find a new path. As amusing as this is. <laughs> like Metal Gear Solid, the trash can just gradually gets fuller and fuller and more memos he puts in there. Is it? No. <laughs> and by the way, the re reason he knows how it's always falling is because he's right next to a mirror. Mmm. <laughs> Hey, baby. I love how you still <laughs> say that every time. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's... Emergency switch? switch? Well, we have to operate it. <laughs> no, I said operate! Well, we're still on the switch. Hey, man. <laughs> it's... Oh! <laughs> Bailey's one of my favorite characters. Trick. <laughs> there you go again! Fooling around with that thing! It wasn't me. Don't lie! You know you love to see me jump up and prepare for emergency! Oh yeah, sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Durr! The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. <laughs> well, it's for emergencies! Don't play with it! Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up! It's making me feel on edge! Nah, too much of a pain. <laughs> a pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs! Night vision goggles, a goblet, a monitor. Ooh, yeah. Oh, who's rock and roller calling? I want. Oh, we can't find out. It's too far away. Ooh, thought bubble. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who's saying the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what you, know, you gotta do, right? Nope, gotta be fast. Gotta be faster than that to catch frogs. This has been your obscure Arfa reference for the day. Oh, we can't eavesdrop on his call! So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe? Something primitive like that, I bet. Peace out! I'm done. <laughs> that poor door. <laughs> I love that officer's walk. 
All right, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, card man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. <laughs> a proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. No, yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. Oh, are we on the guitar? We're on the guitar, yeah. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to check prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? I can't believe they let him have his instruments in jail. Damn! Don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like the guard man is gone. <laughs> All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Come on, sausage head! Trick time. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. Nothing. <laughs> Play yes. the drums. Uh-oh, he moved his guitar! <laughs> Don't you get tired of playing the same note over and over again? No. So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. I can't read! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means! If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? Best thing would be to copy. If you don't know how to read, copy it exactly how and then ghost. bring it. He can't bring it through the phone lines. What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway... I might as well try to find Prisoner D99's cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course a ghost doesn't actually have hands. Maybe we'll be able to talk to the prisoner because he will come back from the dead. <laughs> from if... somebody else? Yeah, what if, what if that was... That, what a happen. twist that would be. There's a pad of notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. There's a pad of notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. The toilet. Oh, wait, we can go a bit farther. There's a phone on the wall. The internal phone. This telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are... Other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Emergency button. Yep. Hmm. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little <laughs> try. Go, go, go! I caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or I can use the D-pad to do the same thing. Guess I'll take a little look around. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. So, what's this guy do? He's gone. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he's packing up his stuff to try and escape? Hmm. 
So he was he was making a tunnel behind the toilet. Okay. And he saw there was a memo that applied, uh, all clear. There was a memo that got sent to him with an X on it, and he saw it and he was like, <gasps> and then he like sealed up the entrance. So. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, eh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. So this cell is empty. For now. Oh, oh, I possess the memo. So there's the toilet and then the guy's throwing a memo down there. Go, go, go! The guy's just painting. <laughs> so there's like a hook at the bottom of that toilet. The memo gets caught. Rings the bell. That guy's really fat. Holy cow. Yeah, for being in prison. And he's he's like Pajama Sam after he drinks like the thing. I've become staggeringly intelligent. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> Look at that head of his. What the heck? Trick time! New info has been added. Yeah, we'll look at that later. By the looks of him, that must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that! Where did he go? What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe, maybe I better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow too. Still can't read, but I'd better go check out Prisoner D99's cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this Prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. I got it. Oh, there he is. I take a Ah, uh, ghost. Oh, his spoon. Yeah, that's what we have to do. So I guess wait for him to... Looks like the curry lover comes back when he hears the bell. I can't make heads or tails out of his behavior once he gets back, though. But this prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. I'll just chalk this guy up to it takes all kinds. I better try to find a path to D99's cell. Huh? So he and the rock star are in cahoots. Yeah. Where, like, he lets the guy know when the police are coming, so Ew, he stops did he just, like, eat the dirt? Oh, he's... oh, possess the spoon. Ah. Uh. He's digging a tunnel out. Oh. What is this guy doing? Maybe he misses curry so much he's trying to eat the dirt instead. Yeah, that's probably it. Or, I could be wrong. In any case, I think there was a phrase that was describes just this kind of situation. Oh yeah, I know what it is. Outlook not so good. This path doesn't lead anywhere. I think I'd better try to find another one. <laughs> oh. Where is this going? I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go are other phones that are already I've already possessed. Guard room or the upper row of cells? None. Oh yeah, sure, this'll be a good idea. It's a great idea. Oh, nothing. <laughs> the guard just didn't even notice. Whenever I see a lever, I feel like I just have to try it out for some reason. But when nothing happens, it just really makes me mad for some reason. Looks like I got all excited over nothing. Power support. 
Looks like some kind of a control panel. I think I can manipulate it. I think it must already be on, and I can't turn it off. I guess there's no need to fool around with it. Aw, oh, I thought we could fool around with it. Nope. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything to this guy. He's just gonna keep oh, digging. Oh, he's just gonna keep digging? Oh, yeah. so that's why we would need to go back up. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Go back. No, go back. Is everything all set? They said they're still getting ready. We haven't had one of these fins in a long time. Yeah, they said they had to clear away the dust to do some maintenance. Hey, what do you think about it? I don't think we should talk about it now. I just hope nothing goes wrong. We played with the lever, hopefully that's not a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on it already. It's cool. Yeah. I guess go back to the upper row of cells. Yeah. Trick time! Oh yeah, I know what you have to do now. Okay. I mean, remember folks, it's been several years since I've last played this game. I forget all the puzzles. I for don't remember all the puzzles. I have to wait forever. For what? For him to throw another... Or you could just sound the emergency again. Oh, yeah. Well, that's one way to do it. That's the, actually the only way to do it. <laughs> Gotta love the music. Okay, possess the one on the left. Or, I'm sorry, the right. Because he sends the X when the guys are coming in a circle when it's okay to continue the tunnel. Go, go, go! So I think if you can possess the guy's spoon before he throws it, that'll get you closer to, closer to the, uh... Oh, wait. Wait for a little bit. Oh, uh, try now. Okay, maybe not. He has to pull up the memo. Okay, cool. Now... Yeah, now you can move around his cell. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, stay on the bell. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Ghost. All clear! Man, I wonder why people keep <laughs> sounding the, the emergency, emergency alarm. Stupid guy who sits with Bailey. Trick time. Alright, um, try going on the light. Yeah, now wait for him to pick up the spoon again, I guess. Or the fork, or the spork, or whatever it is. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, is there, there, there? What? You're moving off of the bell. You get back on the light. Get back on the light. Let's see if he picks up the fork. And hopefully when he picks up the fork, you can possess it and then jump all the way over to the... Now. Make it wait for him to lower his arm before trying again. Ah! It's fine. But we are okay. Cool. We didn't have to do the super intricate thing that I thought we were gonna have to do. Same thing here. Yeah, yeah, we know it's an internal phone. So now we're right next to D ninety nine cell. artist hmm what a strange cell and the prisoner inside it he seems to be enjoying himself this is the last cell in the area 
So that means this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guards said. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah! He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. He's only using red paint, though. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. New info has been added. Trick time! Oh wait, yeah. This is quicker. Rock Jailbird, the curry loving Jailbird. Ugh, look at his lips. Oh, this guy's very ugly. An odd fellow who laid siege to a metro police department and demanded curry and rice, he now appears to be digging a tunnel out of his prison cell. And Faded Jailbird, prisoner D99. Lin asked me to check out his work schedule for tomorrow. He apparently shot and killed his wife. He now appears to be enjoying himself as he paints a picture in his prison he cell. He literally looks like Zeus. <laughs> mixed with, like, John Smith. <laughs> and a little Bob Ross. <laughs> a little, but more... Or, like, one of the guys that you can bump into in Carmen San Diego and be like, Tell me what you need! Good day to yeah, you! Yeah, good day to you! Tell me what, what you, you need. What do you need? What's your frame? Well, I guess we can only do that. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Newspaper article. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case, man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. So the work schedule for tomorrow of prisoner D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I lost the ability to read. But, here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written That's on the I board thought. at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. So, I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is, is nothing, nothing. Which is what I thought it would be. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Trip time! Not being able to read. I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I'd better get this information to Lynn as fast as I can. I guess we can take the phone out of here. Wait. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Close the frame. I'm trying to remember how much chapter six actually entails. D99, dinner! Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but... Just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Zhoud. Now then? Let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Just Sizzle's face. 
Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? How is it you call every twist? This because is who else would it be? Otherwise, it'd be Lynn. Otherwise, <laughs> I was like, it'd be funny. Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. Maybe that's like his son? What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Big fan of your work. <laughs> who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. But that would make a lot of sense, too. For plot's sake. Uh-huh. Because, well, because she was like, oh, I need to meet, I'll meet you. Because clearly they know each other. Or had at some point. So maybe he'd have more information mm, about the case. I have to see Lynn fast. And not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. Dang it, I was hoping to go chicken kitchen. Trick time. <laughs> oh, that's the napkin. I was like, we can possess him. Nothing over there. So we'll take the phone back to Bailey's station. And then he has the real phone there. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside, and I've got questions I want to ask to in. I gotta get to an external line fast. So go back to the guard room. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, chief, <laughs> it's you! Uh, they're making preparations now! No problem, sir! How much longer, then? One more hour, sir! I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Inspector Cabanella. <gasps> Hello. Hey, evening! Cabanella here. How are you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella! Fine, sir! You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby? From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'll, <laughs> I'm sure you'll regret yeah, it very much. Yeah, this guy reminds me a lot of Gant. <laughs> very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. A fugitive. Carry on, then. I might... Pop in a little later. Yes, sir! Looking forward to seeing you, sir! I totally forgot about the chief. Trace yeah, complete. Uh, yeah, it's big to cat and never wants to talk to you. Maybe I should change that. That's no, I think it's funny. <laughs> Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now, but the call from police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. The white suited inspector suspects Lynn, and she's being considered a fugitive. That is not good. Wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white, too. No, 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 Bailey's talking. Bailey, what's up? Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her, too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What would the special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I There's something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D-99, Detective Zhao, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends. How come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of special investigation. He's a very busy man. W what's wrong? Jad was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? Th this new side of you is kind of... Endearing. <laughs> anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know. Ugh. But he did kind of like an epic pull the, um, yeah. like pull the tablecloth. He just, and then no, he just pounded the table. Yeah, but the wine didn't spill. That's true. Uh, external wine. Because that can take us. Uh, we want to go to the police station. Also, it occurred to me after. It occurred to me after I started voice giving the chief uh -huh. a weird voice, I should give him like the Mr. Banks voice. 
King Edward's He's on, on the, the throne. throne. It's, it's the age <laughs> of men. I really want to go to the kitchen. I mean, you can. I... Then we can give her the news. Unless if it takes such a long time to get there. The chicken kitchen. This is where that little lady and Lynn are supposed to meet. But... I don't see either one of them here. Guess they haven't shown up yet. Yeah, it took them that long. Trick time. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> no sense wasting time just standing around waiting for them. Maybe I can check at some other place out in the meantime. Like police headquarters. Lynn is apparently being treated as a fugitive there. Is that white suit and inspector really on Lynn's side? Hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, what? Go back. They're blue. So they are. Also, that guy's hair is shaped like a martini glass. I that's, that's not normal. That's the way normal. how any bar should have. What? The <laughs> oh! It's like Red Robin with the with, <laughs> with the Red Robin plane. <laughs> Take like, a bite. Yeah. <laughs> a trick. Oh, go back to the junkyard. <laughs> da da da. Well, I, after a while, I bet you have so many places. Yeah, you unlock quite a few. Ah, so how has it been since we last met? I feel like that redhead's turned me into her lackey. Ah, that's good. I'm glad to see you two are getting along so well. I have to go meet up with her at the restaurant. But there's some activity down at police headquarters that's got me curious, too. Police headquarters, you say? They seem serious about capturing Lin. I see. Sounds to me like things are beginning to escalate. It's probably best to check out anything that catches your interest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. No time to be standing around here talking to a desk lamp, says the one who's only capable of standing around. Alright. Off to Mr. Banks' police headquarters. Yeah, that's Mr. I, Banks. I honestly already forget the voice I gave him, so I'm just yeah. gonna... Yeah, it's too close to the other... <laughs> uh, let's see if I can give him a George Banks voice. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison aid. Inspector Cabanella? Okay, here's the thing. He sounds too nice, though, when you say Oh, okay, that. fine. I well, like the previous one before. All right, fine. Inspector. We were just a bit too late. So close, eh, Inspector? <laughs> that's better. <laughs> We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No question about it. She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. New info has been added. I totally forgot we ever went here. Trick time. But first. I, don't believe, I just don't believe it. Why would you do a thing? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right, but I guess. I, it's I, funny. He's not a big character anyways. Yeah. Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want you to, I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. I wanted to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Why a murder case now on such an important night? I think you have the wrong- I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now, for the very reason it is that it is such an important night. I like this music. This is Inspector Cabanella's theme. You just gotta check out the Chief, don't you? 
Itchy Man, the chief of police's special investigation unit. His job is to sit at his desk in the station, give the detective his or orders, and wiggle his itchy toes. Otherwise, the only this other guy voice is basically could... second in command to Chief Gant. Right. The only other voice that you could give him is like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, no. You know how like it would be, I, I was just thinking about Animal Crossing, like Groucho the Hedgehog. Whatever. Yeah. Common no. Yeah, I could be like. I that. Hey, you can lick this one, bitch. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Before I go see Linda at the chicken kitchen, it sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on the tape? Because it is bad. <laughs> Nobody cared. Nobody notices anything going on. Okay, how did they not see that? Are they that oblivious? Let's see. The junkyard where I died had a security camera, and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. I'll watch. Was Sissel trying to kill her? I think it might be something that he said as well. She just has a gun hanging out. She's a it, detective. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty good, but it could be... If the stuff- oh, but they're not showing anything that happens after. Right. That's some of it. Like, if somebody comes right through. I saw myself shot, right before my own eyes, by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. Eh. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell That's her? That's exactly it. I think exactly what happened is they talked, and she, he said something really surprising, or maybe even threatened her. And then, mm. she's a detective, she would have a gun to defend herself. And then, either she did kill him because of that, or it's like one of those, like, someone comes up behind him like, ba BAM! And then it's like, wait, did I shoot the gun or did somebody else- ah! And then there's the guy there. Yeah. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had to look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, he's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But here I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. There's a cat? <laughs> There's a cat in the box? Kitty in a box. Kitty, Kitty in, in a, a box. box. Meow, 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 meow. meow. <laughs> Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. Okay. This is point X. Come in, Chief. The Chief here. Did you show up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot, I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's he voice. sounds so sassy, it's great. <laughs> but but this is important, sir! Somebody else showed up! Our rookie detective Lynn! Oh wait, this is the wrong voice, I think, to give. What? You see my baby over there, do you? <laughs> I heard that she was on the lamb. Uh, what do you want me to do, Chief? Yeah, that's the voice. What do you say, Inspector? <laughs> detective! Get my baby away from point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. 
Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Vin show up at Point X? It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. The chicken licking? The chicken licking. The chicken licking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should have called it. <laughs> Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. What happened? Detective, come in. Yeah. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me! And then we can go! <laughs> Let me flex with this first, though. <laughs> Oh shoot, I have to raise it back up. Raise the roof. So Linda's shown up at some point X, but I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? But one thing is clear, something big just happened. We did see those blue guys there. Also this dude shaking his leg. <laughs> He's itching his feet. Oh, I thought he was just like dancing a jig in his seat. I'm like, okay. What are you doing? Get your buns over here! W what did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen there that you need assistance with? Something happened, you ask? More like there's nothing left here. I gotta go. Wait, wait! Well, there's some chick dead. I don't think it's Lynn, though. What's going on? Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You been going to Point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's some place else I gotta be. Inspector. You being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, I'm not quite over yet. Mm, right, that's true. Do what you must then. I like his coat. Tail. I like his like, flounce. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely an anime exit. Prisoner D99's schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I, need, I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point X the police have surrounded. And the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved this time when I find her there? Aw, oh, please tell me it's not a save point. I wanna see Camilla! Sorry! Uh, Save your current place in time? Yes. Fine. Sorry that episode was boring for you. You didn't get to voice anybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, fine. I guess you could have voiced the generic police officer. It could have it been a woman. Hey, <laughs> buddy. I'm a Muppet. <laughs> I wouldn't have been that. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Now the plot's really kicking off. Tune in next time. We're going to the chicken kitchen. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>